everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about the top 10 things that i actually regret buying my newborn so if you're interested in hearing all about those things just keep on watching now it took me uh, quite a while to actually make this video a lot of people actually asked me to make this video and i honestly didn't because i didn't think there was a lot of things that i regret buying but as I went along with time, my baby is currently five months old and I realized that, huh, there's actually a decent amount of items that is just sitting around my house and have no purpose for them. <laughs> and actually some of the items have always been kind of pointless. So now that I kind of gathered together these 10 items, I'm gonna go ahead and share them with you. So let's get into it. Now the first item <laughs> that I regret buying honestly i didn't buy this item as a gift i'm so sorry about it but um is the wubba nub is that how you say it wubba nub it's that little animal pacifier thing no just no now baby nala is not into pacifiers currently but she was and it was actually the same type of pacifiers that is attached to the wubba nub but the thing about the Wubba Nub that I really, really, really do not get is that if your baby turns his or her head, it's out of their mouth. Even a month old or two months as they start to get more active and they're moving their head because of the weight of the animal, it's going to stay in place while they're moving their head. And a lot of times I found myself like having to go up to baby girl put it back in her mouth and she move her mouth again then she'd be crying because she can't put it back in her mouth and it's just so annoying i don't get it i know the idea of it is like i guess to not lose it plus it's supposed to stay in their mouth but then if your baby moves around like i don't know how it's supposed to stay in their mouth i just don't get it and i quickly cut the past fire off i cut that past fire off i don't even know what the animal is at to be honest but i cut that thing off and Nobody had the time, like, I, I don't get it. Now, maybe if your baby is not as active or doesn't move as much, I should say active, but if your baby doesn't move as much when the pacifier's in the mouth, then I guess it's good. But um, my baby honestly has a bad habit. It's kind of annoying that when you try to give her a bottle of toy, something pacifier in her mouth, she like swings her head like this and it always falls in the mouth. Then she be crying because she can't put it back in her mouth. That's like the same thing bottles in. This is a whole lot, a whole lot of, but the level up for me, I just, I just don't get it. And I would just dismiss it because paying $10.99 for a pacifier with an animal tattoo is just, no, you better hot glue an animal <laughs> to that thing. And I don't know, just, just don't do it. The next thing that I regret buying is, and I know a lot of people is not going to agree with me, but it is honestly the boppy pillow now when i say that i regret buying this i intended the boppy pillow to only be for my breastfeeding purposes and for that matter i say it's not worth buying it for that now buying it to have like tummy time and those type things for your baby absolutely you know great but for what i personally intended on having it for and what is mostly intended for anyway for breastfeeding i i really did not like it it was so annoying because sometimes when you have your baby up in your hand and you place the boppy pillow against you. Then once you place it against you, sometimes it slips over time because there's nothing attaching the boppy pillow to you. It just sometimes it just be more work than what it's worth. I wanted a situation where I could just put it on me and don't worry about it. And because of that, I would honestly prefer the my breast friend instead of the bobby pillow because the, my best friend has pockets on it you can put your phone in it uh, it has like a little mound on it to take the shape of the baby and the head and all that type stuff and it clicks actually around you i actually got mine for once upon a child washed it for eight dollars and called it a day child because nobody was about to be paying nobody forty dollars for something i might use or may not use all the time, but it did really come in handy and I wish I had it in the hospital because doing that pillow propping thing where people are like, oh, you don't need that, just prop pillows. 
No ma'am, nobody got time for that. The next time that I have a baby, I would definitely be like click, 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 click my best friend in the hospital because nobody got time for the boppy pillow and trying to be um keeping it under you now, especially if you have a heavier baby and that weight stop dropping in the middle of that boppy pillow and that boppy pillow stop shifting, you gotta pull that in the baby and love it for tummy time and sitting the baby up and stuff like that it is awesome for that and that reason i wouldn't regret it but it is helpful so take it as you want the next thing that i kind of regret buying i don't want to regret buying it i really didn't want to put on this list but i kind of got to because it just sits in the area and i never touch it and that is the mama room Let's take a moment of silence for the money we paid for the mama roof. Because it hurts my soul. It really does. And to be honest, I didn't take a lot of time to make sure that my baby likes it or try to get my baby like it. Like, I didn't draw myself to it. In the very beginning, she really did like it. She can sit in it for a while. I thought it was going to be the end all be all because she really did like it. It was very short lived. I remember when I brought her home, she um slept in it for hours. Like you put her in it, she was out of there. And I was just like, hallelujah. But after maybe the first month, like it was so short lived then i found other things to soothe her i don't know i am actually in debate what i want to do about it it just hurts but um it's, it's not that deep to me i think there's other things that are a lot cheaper even though i personally only paid a hundred dollars for mine because i bought mine off of someone else which i think people should do but if you don't want to to each its own um because one thing i will not buy off someone is a stroller so the next thing that i regret buying which i did not buy and i'm so sorry about it if you're watching this and you bought this for me is the is the Graco? I think it's called Duet Swing. Duet Swing. It's another situation of the seats is not being deep enough. And personally, I think when it comes to swings, I don't think babies, many babies, I'm not gonna say babies, but many babies care to be swung back and forth. I think babies prefer it side to side. And I noticed that too when my babies in daycare, they put in a swing like this, and it's all cushiony. It's all like nice and you know comfy and that uh Graco swing doesn't have a lot of like support it's kind of like stiff and I can I feel like she's like a little cock-sided and you can't adjust the uh angles on how deep they lay back or how much they lay for it so I and it's not really strong it's kind of loud to be honest be like it's like that thing loud it's supposed to be convenient because you can like take it off the poles and set it down and have a little rocker but to be honest there's probably other gadgets in, in my house that can do the same thing as that so i'm not taking it off but i really do want to get a different swing like the one she has in that daycare that's like a real deep bucket seat and she loves that thing so i definitely regret having that thing because that thing is mm. The next thing that I regret buying, but I don't regret buying, but I regret buying, which I didn't even buy, so why don't I regret buying it? But I don't think it's necessary, I should say like that, is a crib. You don't need a crib. Your baby's not gonna be in it. They don't need it. The baby's gonna be in your room. Maybe if you have your crib in your room, but I don't think it's something necessary. When our baby came home, we put her in a pack and play. The only thing about the pack and play, at least the one that I have, which is the Chico Lullaby, is you can't really lay her flat in the pack and play. I had a mattress in it and the whole nine, got it level and made sure it was right. And she rolled. And I was just like, no man, like absolutely no way. And that's the reason why I started using the docket top because um, she was rolling because she was like a little peanut. And she was doing this and she was like that. And that was a cute and I wasn't having it. So that's why I started actually putting the docket top in the pack and play. Now, disclaimer, I'm not saying to put a docket top in the pack and play. Don't come for me about how the safety measures the docket top. You do you, you do your own research, you do what's best for your baby. I understand, I did my research. I know it's not uh, regulated or something like that, but it was the only thing 
that I deem safe enough. So what I actually did was have her in the dark and top. This is supposed to be about regrets. <laughs> but I just had her in the dark and top and stuffed um, like a blanket at her feet and tucked it in really tight so she couldn't roll. And that she wasn't too close to either side of the dock and top. That's what I did. But instead of a crib, I definitely would get something like a pack and play. I didn't start putting baby girl into her crib until she was three months. And I think I only did that then because I actually have a day bed in her room. So I was able to start putting her in her crib and then we slept in the day bed and watched her from there. I just recently started sleeping in my room and it's just the hardest thing ever. The next thing that I regret buying, the Fisher Price Auto Rock and Play. Now, it was like almost immediately when I got this, I maybe used it one time and then I, the next day I seen on the news that somebody baby died from flipping in the rock and play. I am so upset. This is actually the next day from the other portion that I was just talking about. Uh, I was editing the video and I realized that I was out of focus for the second half of the video. So let's just act like that didn't happen and let me just finish saying what I was saying. Now I believe that I left off talking about the auto pack and play. So I was referring to the story that I watched on the news about how this couple had seen, rest in peace, their infant which was five months old and they had the baby sleeping and the pack and play and I guess I don't know what happened I don't know if they didn't have the baby fastened I don't know if the baby just found some way out of the fasten but the baby ended up flipped over if you ever seen a pack and play it had it's like super deep and somehow the baby ended up twisting over and couldn't untwist itself and I don't know if the baby was in a room or another room I'm pretty sure the baby was in a room with them but they probably just didn't hear the baby or the baby didn't cry I don't know but the baby ended up suffocating and they woke up and the baby was turned and he was already lifeless and oh my god I, I just oh I can I can't I can't even imagine how that feel, feels and I feel so bad for that family so right after I seen that I was like no ma'am she will not be in this thing because even before this my biggest fear even though like Nala doesn't know how to exactly roll yet is for her to figure out some way to roll even in a docket top and can't unroll herself and she's not like a loud crier and I have mentioned this dozens of times how she's not good at tummy time and she likes suffocating herself because she doesn't have enough strength and I am so afraid that she figured out some way to twist and I already swaddle her and she can't untwist herself so I actually just bought today this uh I think it's called a resty swaddle situation it's basically some type of swaddle that it is actually attached to the mattress when they're sleeping they can't actually roll so Every single night I am in fear of her flipping over and can't unflip herself. So I think I'm gonna do a rip the band-aid off situation once my Amazon order comes and just put her in that and she just gonna have to be restless. And even if I have to go back in the room with her until she learns how to sleep without the docket top. So I bought that, that should be here on Sunday. So uh, yeah, we just gonna get that popping. But anyway, back to the point, um, the auto rock and play is definitely something I regret. It had a whole recall on it anyway. So people who really shouldn't be buying that. I know some people are, that's the holy grail, that's the end all be all. But in my personal opinion, it's not worth it. All these babies, cause that wasn't the only baby that died. There was like 11 cases of babies dying from the auto rock and play. And it's just, yeah. The biggest thing that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely regret buying and that is a bottle warmer now I have heard people say the bottle warmer is pointless you know all this and that but I just figured that they were just saying that just because I don't know like I, I didn't really take them serious when people say buy a bottle warmer like I knew they it would probably be a product that I would be going out of my way to warm but I'm very much a person that get distracted easily or I get exhausted and procrastinate a lot so I figured that 
hey, when I'm getting ready to warm her bottles or whatever, I can just like already know that it's time for her to eat and just start doing other stuff. And by the time I realize it, you know, her stuff will be done. Now, did buy me my bottle warmer. He got me the Chico, like the fancy Chico one that um, warms up food, warms up breast milk, it warms up formula. It just like, it does this whole thing. And I was just like, yes, you know, I put it on my registry, he got it and you know, I was ready, but it ain't worth it. <laughs> Let me tell you why. The thing is, the thing takes so long to warm up your milk, it's not even worth it. It says seven minutes. It put it on a seven minute timer to warm up. I think it was, it had like two ounces and four ounces or whatever. And I think the two ounce took like four minutes and the four ounces took like seven minutes. But um, even when I did the seven minutes, a lot of times I would have to like double click it and have it warm again. And if you know, when it comes to having a child that is hungry right now and waiting seven minutes, I find that the formula took longer than the breast milk, but it like blew my mind. And I was like, no one got time. And if you ever thought out breast milk, especially if you took it out the freezer in the little freezer bags, breast milk do not take long to thaw. Like me personally, um, don't get on me about uh, however I thought my milk, but I just put it under hot water and for literally like a minute, it's thawed. Like <laughs> it does not take long at all to thaw breast milk. I run it under uh, hot water in that bag, turn on the faucet, leave it there. Say I'm killing water. We all find ways to kill water. It's done like that. I pour it in and I just give it to her. It, it, it is at the perfect temperature. It's never overly hot when I do it like that. And even when it comes to formula, like formula doesn't take long to heat up anyway. People will say don't put it in the microwave, but I put mine in the microwave 10 seconds is ready. Like she hasn't had any problems. Like honestly, um, I always seen people doing it like that growing up. So you do you, but it's just pointless. And then you gotta keep filling it up with water and then the water dies out from the steam and then it's just steam in the water. And yeah, so when it comes to like, like my day daycare and stuff like that, of course I want them to use a bottle warmer, but in my house, mm -mm. The next thing along the same lines as a bottle warmer is a white warmer. <laughs> now, one thing that I regret about buying a um, white warmer is I feel like white warmers are overly priced. Like <laughs> the one that was on my registry that had the little night light on it, it was um, $25 and it's like, what? The only way that you really should, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not entirely pointless. Like, it's pretty cool when it's in the middle of the night, you really don't wanna wake up your baby, so you just like change them or whatever. You know, it's still warm, so they don't really wake up. But a lot of times, if you get them out of the bed or, or their position anyway, they're gonna start moving and waking up anyway. I look at it like this, whether you have a white warmer or not, once you change them and give them a bottle again, they're gonna go back to sleep most of the time at least my daughter does so they'll get over it um you really don't have to have a white warmer especially if it's at room temperature anyway or if you're in a, like a, a pretty decent temperature room like it's not gonna be freezing cold like and then the thing that i find about white warmers is not all the whites are warmed the same what i mean by that is i find that like the honest whites and the water whites and all those like kind of thinner whites they end up drying out now the huggies ones that are like really thick i had all types of huggy ones i had the natural care ones and the the cocoa butter ones um they they are pretty good because they're thick they keep the moisture and it's warm sometimes i would say I, uh, it's, it can be kind of annoying because um uh it's not really good to put a lot of whites in a white warmer because then that one that's really close to that warmer end up uh, kind of making it a little bit too hot in my opinion. Um, and then you just gotta really dig in and the uh, rubber that closes the moisture in, it's kind of really stiff. And I think that d differs in brands and stuff like that depending on white warmer, but I just don't feel like it's something necessary. Now it's cute because mine has a little night light on it so I don't really have to turn on a light to change her, but 
um you can really buy any type of night light or even um something i always wanted to do before i had my sound machine was uh get like the himalayan salt thing and that has like the perfect glow or you can just have dimmable lights or something like that so um it's not really necessary to have a um, light warmer but if you are gifted one then cool but especially if you're not that person who usually changes your baby in the same area like i do i really do use my changing table a lot a lot of people told me that i wouldn't but i really do use my um changing table multiple times and david does as well so it's really convenient because it's still always there and i never have to find a wipes the next thing that i regret buying is baby toys now in the beginning babies aren't really that interested in toys they don't even have the best eye coordination and they're not really picking up nothing they're not holding anything in the very beginning so it's not something that is even necessary like i find myself in the beginning getting all these stuffed animals and putting uh bath toys and all this stuff and my baby's five months and still don't bother with bath toys so it is something that i definitely don't feel that you have to have i think it's honestly best to wait until you see the things that your baby is like starting to reach for and grab for and what catches their eye because anything can catch the eyes keys you know certain colors you know anything can really catch the eye and i think it's best to go out and buy things that you think they'll actually be interested in instead instead of just buying something and it just being there and sitting in your house for really no reason and you just wasted money the last thing that i regret buying is actually large baby bottles babies don't drink a lot <laughs> that's just what it is um specifically i personally have a lot of dr brown bottles and the only way that i have touched my dr brown's bottle is really taking the lids off i do like the nipples that comes with the dr brown bottles and i have actually put them on every single one on my vanilla bottles baby usually drink maybe two ounces in the beginning and as they grow into like three to four months they start drinking uh like three ounces or two and a half ounces so large bottles is just an unnecessary buy i think it's good to try out a lot of different small bottles uh even in the beginning for me and my baby we was using a lot of the really tiny freezer uh medela bottles and she was on drinking two ounces so we was using that a lot in the beginning and those were so much easier to put in a diaper bag because and the little uh, insulated, at least my bag, I have the uh, the Itsy Ritzy uh, cookies and cream bag. And they have an insulated bottle holder. And I was able to put four to five uh, two ounce Medela bottles. Probably up until she was like two and a half, three months. So uh, it's really pointless. You don't also want, especially if you have a reflux baby, to have a large bottle. Because then you have to tilt it back further when they're eating and then filling the whole nipple with milk and you know air pockets and those type things happen and you really don't want to get into those habits because trust me it is so easy to do it every once in a while i have a bad habit of doing it but i don't want to encourage myself by doing it by using extremely large bottles for no reason your choice but i definitely regret buying it because i probably have like so many dr brown's bottles but that is my top 10 things that I regret buying for a newborn. I, obviously, everyone's choice is going to be different. There's going to be some things on my list that you might not agree with. But that's just, you know, it's just opinion. And that's okay because each baby isn't the same. What my baby likes may not be what your baby likes and vice versa. So I do have a very chill baby. So she kind of like goes with the flow with a lot of things. But, you know, I thought I would give you a little bit of insight if you are pregnant or if you're just curious and just want to know what my opinions on certain items that you may have so um yeah that is all i can really think of at this point so i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video i really thank everyone for watching my channel our channel is seriously growing each and every day and i love y'all and i thank y'all for everything and i guess i'll just see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>